a bridge that looks like any other, but it's actually an open border. On one side, Northern Ireland, a part of the United Kingdom, and on the other side, the Republic of Ireland, a member of the European Union. And many travel between the two every day. We're heading right across, just into the north of Ireland. Um, we're changing countries here, but it's free flowing. But on the 31st of October, this road could become a hard border between Britain and the European Union if Britain leaves without a deal. What is this here? This is a, meant to be a dividing line. Many fear the return of border checkpoints. I don't want to show a passport. It's just about the freedom of movement. Some remember the troubles when there was a hard border between the two countries, splitting the village of Pettigo in two. This is the border. This is the exact border there. If you were driving along, you could, there could be a police car behind you, pull you in and check you, open the boot, everybody get out of the car, and they'd have guns and the lot. So it, it was at different times, yeah. Fighting between unionists and republicans claimed over three and a half thousand lives, a scenario that no one wants to see unfold again. I grew up with all that and I certainly wouldn't like to see it back again. It, it'll cause, it will cause problems. I don't, you know, what, no matter what politicians say in the UK, they don't realise what it's like to live on the border. To avoid a hard border, the European Union is requiring a backstop, allowing goods to flow freely between Northern Ireland and the EU. But for the Brexiteers, a backstop would keep Northern Ireland too close to the European Union. We have to have that backstop out of, the, uh, out of the deal. We cannot go on with the withdrawal agreement as it currently is. Even those who voted to leave fear the government's position isn't a viable solution for Northern Ireland. When we voted for breakfast, we just assumed that things would just stay the same on the border and the, the movement of goods on people up and down the road would just stay the same. Do you regret your vote today? Probably. Honestly, yeah. Northern Ireland voted overwhelmingly against Brexit, with 56% of voters wishing to remain, one of the highest results in all of Britain.